the potential for a credit contraction and what it might mean for this economy going forward from here? Yeah, so we've been very focused uh, on this point and, and understanding the role of which banks, uh, the small, medium size, the regional banks, uh, and where their exposures are when we talk about actually contracting credit. Uh, and so we know that they uh, have been the lenders of choice in a post uh, great financial crisis world um, to 70 percent of the commercial real estate loans, about 48 percent of commercial uh, and industrial loans, about 38 percent uh, of uh, residential mortgages. So we are looking at the impacts to small and medium sized businesses. And, you know, we know uh, from some of the surveys we're already getting out of, uh, you know, NIFIB and the small business uh, community that they are feeling it and and they are you know signaling that in in terms of the 40 year low uh in terms of indicating uh that the this is a good time to invest and expand their businesses. Uh, so th we do think that there are some material and systemic ripples uh, on economic growth that are going to come from this credit contraction. 